Introduction to Networking, Subnetting Part 2. I will start with one example to make sure that you're, you're okay with uh, subnet masks. If not, please make sure you watch my previous video, 10.10.11.25, 10.10.11.79, subnet mask 255.255.255.0. Are they on the same subnet? The answer is yes, because the first three octets have to match. That's an octet, right? 255.255.255.0. I hope it's okay. If not, please make sure you watch my previous video. What is this subnetting all about? You can get a lot of questions. One of them, let me give you an example. 192.168.1.0 and they asked you can you be so nice and divide that IP address into five sub networks what does it mean it means that we do not have enough IP addresses we we do not really need 254 IP addresses because that's what we have available over here because with this IP address and the default subnet mask 192.168.1.0 the last IP address is 192.168.1.255 we are not allowed to use the first we are not allowed to use the last IP addresses the first IP address is called the network address and this one is broadcast broadcast it means sent everywhere if i don't know where i'll send it everywhere you're not allowed to use 0 to 55 that's why the first ip address is dot one and the last usable is 254 that's why we have 254 ip addresses what you can get is we, we don't really need 254 IP addresses. However, we need like five subnets and around 25 IP addresses for each subnet. For security reasons, for many other reasons, you will not get five ranges. What I mean by that, they could just g give you 192.168.1.0 192.168.2.0, 4 and 5.0. Okay, five different ranges. It's, you know, but it, you just need 25 IP addresses and there are 254. You can say, wow, well, that, that's a lot, mate. Uh, it's not. <laughs> there are some companies with, you know, thousands of users in one building. It's, it's not enough. And for security reasons, if you want to create a policy, a firewall rule, you don't want to have 500 uh, subnets and networks. You don't want that. That's why a question might be, you need five networks. Now, how do you do that? We'll not go through the whole example because that is far beyond our discussion. That is introduction to networking. I want to give you a very good idea where to start if you're interested you you go if you go for ccna or mta in networking you will learn everything in details the idea is that we will play with our subnet mask do you remember 255 255 2550 now do you remember what i said the first three octets they have to match it's for your network and if they have to match, you're not allowed to touch them. You're not allowed to play with these octets. It means you can do something in the last one. And what you're going to do, you're going to take some bits, because it's in binary, and you will say, well, I will use them for my network. And of course, you will not end up having 254 hosts per network you will get like let's say 16 32 
64 and so on because it's again in binary so you can't be very specific you can't say i want to have 25 hosts per network it's in binary of course there are some other ways you can achieve things like that a anyway this is the way it works you take your original subnet mask and you play with it you take this octet because zero and do you remember zero i don't care it's for my host it means i can make that happen i can i can take the last octet and divide that into five seven or five hundred or oh, here it's not possible it it would be possible with zero zero into sub networks i hope it makes sense it's introduction to networking that's more than enough for now if you're interested mta in networking you can learn more Thank you very much. In our next lecture, how to get a job in IT.